Welcome to Finding the Percent Part or Whole Tutorial. Today we're going to look at given scenarios where we have to determine if we're looking for a percent, a part, or a whole. So the basic idea of understanding how to solve these problems is the proportion. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Sometimes we also use different strategies that come with this same idea. We talked about that you could also think of it as a circle and that the part is on top over your percent and your whole. And we also talked about that part can sometimes be found using the word is and a whole can be found using the word of. Okay, so let's look at some problems. Let's take a look at this first example problem. Mr. Wright had 30 students in his class. 12 of the students are boys. What percent of Mr. Wright's class are boys? So in the back of your mind, you need to be keeping the circle in your mind. Take two seconds and write it out if you are doing a test or a concept check. So in this problem, I want to identify what I know. That Mr. Wright had 30 students, that's a whole, and 12 of the students were boys, which is a part. Now we need to put these numbers into the scenario. So my part would go on top, just like it is in the circle, and the whole would go on bottom. So there's two different ways you could solve this. We could solve this by simplifying 12 to 30. You should see that 3 goes into both of these. So that would be 4 tenths. And then you can change that to be out of 100. Multiply this by 10 and multiply this by 10, which would give me 40. So 40 out of 100 would give me 40%. If you struggle with scaling up or down, you could also solve it by doing division. So you remember your numerator goes on the inside, the 30 would go on the out, add a decimal, place a zero, 30, We'll go into 120 four times exactly with nothing left over. And so I would have 0.4. And if you move your decimal twice, one, two, that would also give you 40%. So either way to solve this problem works. You can either just divide it or you can scale up or scale down. Let's try another problem. 34 students in an algebra class made an A on the test. If this is 85% of the students, in the class, how many of the students are in the class? So once again, we have to identify our parts. 34 students in an algebra class made an A, so that doesn't necessarily mean all of them. If this is 85% of the students in the class, how many students are in the class? So we are looking for the whole because they gave us a part. So you could set this up as a part over whole equals percent out of 100. So my part is 34, I don't know my whole, equals 85% out of 100. Right now I can't easily see how to get from 85 to 34, but I do know I could simplify 85 and 100. If I divide this by 5 and this by 5, I can make an equivalent fraction. So 85 divided by 5 gives me 17, 100 divided by 5 gives me 20. Now you could see how to get from 17 to 34 times 2, so I would need to do the same thing to the 20, times 2, which would leave me with 40. So there are 40 students in the entire class. So sometimes you need to scale down before you scale up. So looking at the same problem, you could also think about the circle method to do this problem. You have your part over your percent and your whole. Remember, this line right here means to divide. So I could say that I have 34 and that is 85%. We change our percent to a decimal, so we have 34 divided by 85 hundredths. 85 hundredths goes on the outside, 34 goes on the inside. Remember to move your decimal twice because we don't divide with decimals. We need to move this one twice. So now it is here and no longer here. 85 will go into 340 four times, exactly. 85 will go into zero, zero times. 
So you can also use this method if it makes more sense. Then now you have 40 to get to the 100%. Let's try one more problem. In a Willow Heights neighborhood, 60% of the homeowners have a dog. If there are 150 homeowners in Willow Heights, how many own a dog? So we must identify the important things in the problem. We see that there is 60% that own a dog and there's 150 homeowners in Willow Heights. So this would have to be a whole because it's talking about all of the homeowners in Willow Heights. So we could set up a proportion. We could say, I don't know what my part is, but I do know there's 150 whole members of the neighborhood. I have 60% out of 100. So this one, you could use your proportion. You could say, okay, I can go from 100 to 150 by times in it by 1.5. So I could also do this to the 60. So come off to the side and do your multiplication. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Placeholder. 1, 0, 6. You'll get 900. But I have one number behind the decimal right here. So there needs to be one behind the decimal. So that would tell me that there are 90 homeowners with dogs in the neighborhood. So my final answer would be 90. Notice this is the same problem as before because I'm gonna show you a second method that may work sometimes when a proportion does not work. So in this problem, we identified last time that the homeowners 150 was our whole and 60% was our percent. So we could also change 60% to a decimal, which we've talked about is moving our decimal twice. So this would be 0 0.60. Remember, you can get rid of that zero and just make it 0 0.6. And then you can multiply. So 150 times 0 0.6, which would be 0, 30, and 9. And then I can see I have one number behind the decimal, so my answer would be 90. So this is another way that you can find a part when you're given a percent and a whole, but you can only do this multiplication when you are given a percent and a whole. Well, you've reached the end of the video. Remember, if you have not finished your concept check, I will give you 10 minutes in class tomorrow. And remember, we also have a test on Friday. Please study for your test. Do not wait until the night before.